Hello and welcome to Stata in 5, where I provide intuitive introductions to Stata commands in under 5 minutes. This is your host, Chris Curran, and in this episode we'll be talking about how to go from a categorical variable to a binary variable using the tabulate command in Stata. Let's jump right in. As usual, we have on the right-hand side of our screen the do file, where we'll write our syntax or code, and on the left-hand side of the screen the output window of Stata. We'll go ahead and begin by opening some sample data. This is data from the National Center of Education Statistics and contains information on all school districts in the United States. So we can see that the data is open because we have a series of variables listed on the output window as well as information about the data set listed in the bottom right hand corner. Now one of the characteristics that this data set contains about school districts is information on its urbanicity. In other words, whether it's urban, rural, suburban, and so forth. And it comes in this variable called urban centric location. So one of the things we may first be interested in doing with a categorical variable is seeing what the categories are. And a good way to do that in Stata is to use the tabulate command. So the command simply looks like this, the word tabulate, a space, and then the name of the variable that we're interested in. In this case, I'll pick the urban centric locale district variable, which represents urbanicity in this data set. So let's go ahead and highlight that command and see what happens when we execute it. All right, so I can see in the output window that this urbanicity variable has three different categories to it, either rural, suburban, or urban. And the tabulate command gives me some useful information on each of those categories. In particular, I can see how many observations fall into each category, what percentage of the observations that number makes up, as well as the cumulative uh, uh, composition or proportions of the entire data set. Now, often when we're doing research, categorical variables are not particularly useful when it comes to calculating descriptive statistics, or particularly when it comes to running regressions. So one of the first pieces of data cleaning that many analysts will do is to convert categorical variables to a series of binary or dummy variables. In other words, instead of having a single variable that lists the values of rural, suburban, or urban, it's more useful to have a single variable that's a one or zero for whether a district is urban, a one or zero for whether a district is suburban, and a third variable that's one or zero for whether it is rural. So luckily, Stata has a quick way to help facilitate creating those type of binary variables. So what we'll do this time is we will use the tabulate command again. And just like before, we'll list the name of the variable. But this time we'll add an option or argument on the end. We'll say comma generate, and then we'll make up a new variable name. In this case, I'll call it urbanicity. So what this argument is telling Stata to do is to create a new series of variables with the base name urbanicity based on the values of our original variable. So in other words, it's going to create three dummy variables in this case, a dummy variable for rural, a dummy variable for suburban, and a third dummy variable for urban, where each of those dummy variables either have zero or ones for whether the school district is rural, suburban, or urban. So let's try running that and see what happens. We'll highlight the command, execute it. Now, just simply looking at the output window, it doesn't look like much has changed. We received the same information on our categorical variable. But what we'll notice if we go to the list of variables is that there's now three new variables listed, urbanicity one, urbanicity two, and urbanicity three. And we can tell from the labels that each of these variables correspond to the values of the original categorical variable, namely rural, suburban, and urban. So in other words, what's happened by adding this comma generate urbanicity is that we've added three new variables, urbanicity one, urbanicity two, and urbanicity three, that are bina binary or dummy variables that represent each of those original categories. So now if I wanted to get some information about, say, urban or rural districts, I could use something, something like the summarize command to just summarize one of these new variables. Let's summarize urbanicity one. All right, and now I can quickly see that this is a dummy variable, a min of zero, a max of one. And importantly, I can see that 63% of the school districts in this data set are, in this case, um, urbanicity one, which corresponds to rural school districts. Right, and this variable now, as a zero or one binary variable, is ready to go in a descriptive table, ready to go in a regression, is much more useful for us in analysis. All right, so what we've seen here are a few useful commands that can help us move from categorical variables to binary variables. In particular, we introduced the tabulate command and the tabulate command with the option generate. So I hope this was a helpful five minutes for you. I would encourage you to subscribe for more videos in this series and to also check out other videos and tutorials on Stata on this channel. So thanks so much and look forward to having you join next time.